It's really been a wild last nine months for this YouTube channel. My YouTube channel went from only having 71 subscribers to now 155. And so much other stuff has changed. So I figured I'd take you through this rapid period of changing in one video. Let's get into it. Briefly set the scene, this started on September 2nd, which happened to be the first day of living hell. And yeah, then on the third day, we lost Puffy Cheeks on the 3rd of September. It was pretty bad and it was pretty upsetting to say the least, but yeah. We knew it was a red tail hawk and it probably happened early that morning or late during the evening the previous day beforehand. And well, that's what happens when you have chickens. You should expect to lose them, but what was ahead would be even worse. Next month was a little bit more um, for this YouTube channel and yeah, during this month and time period I realized just what this channel could possibly accomplish. I decided to really start focusing on this channel and before my daily upload streak of probably over 100 days now had set in, I set the record, which was 6. That was it. Yeah, that, that was literally it. But yeah, during this month, we had so much that went on. First of all, our garden got ripped out. Perfect timing, because then it would get pretty cold around here. And, well, we lost a few chickens on the farm flock. I don't remember any specific dates here, I'll flash them up on the screen right now, but like... We lost two chickens in the farm flock over the course of a week. So we lost Deathwish. So we lost a chicken named Deathwish. And then we lost an unnamed buff. And yeah. It was pretty much just like a time period changing. Because after that we were kinda shocked about all these events that had just happened. And yeah. We took them all the way out there. Didn't see a lot of attacks for a few months. The next month I went away for 8 days and that's why there was a sudden gap in my uploads. So next time I'm on vacation I have a plan, I'll just I'll just schedule a bunch of videos to come out during that time period, it's not actually that hard. It's not going to be like highly edited videos, they're just going to be like 4 or 5 minute videos talking about chickens. So yeah, next time I go on a vacation, which will probably be like, I don't know, a few years at this point, we're gonna I'm going to be focusing on letting that out for this channel, but yeah. During this month I learned so much about what to do with your chickens on vacation. Because once I got back, I made a follow-up video talking about how the vacation went and how I literally almost lost my entire chicken flock because of an apparent tornado near our area. The next month comes around and we finally get some snow. You know, several snowstorms that are really important to this channel came up. First of all, this one right here, which I'll flash up on the screen right now, got 300 views. Pretty astonishing. And yes, while it did say it did bury chickens, the actual chicken burying, quote unquote, actually happened off camera, and it went up to like their neck. It was, it was a lot of snow for chickens. And yeah, during that month, I also got another video dropped about snow. Let's drop another video about that. It was about, well, basically just like another snowstorm. It was supposed to be a stork. I call it historic, quote unquote, because it really wasn't that bad of a storm. But yes, it still did cause plenty of like, it did cause me to freak out wondering, hey, what the hell am I gonna do about my chickens? Well, fortunately they did make it through that storm just fine, but it was ridiculously cold and every time I'd go, I would go outside, I always get like three inches of snow in my shoes, which would absolutely make me wanna cry. The next month rolls around and not very much happens. Well, yes, we did have a break during that month that I did get sick for the first part of. The second part was a little bit better, but yeah, it was still, it was pretty, a, pretty much just a sizable break. And yeah, I, nothing that, nothing really big happened that month. I didn't really learn anything new. I just dropped videos about stuff I already knew during that month. I had chicken coop and ice, an ice storm video, those all did pretty good, I think. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Not much to talk about in that month. The next month along comes the chicken's birthday. This is March of this year, so about three months ago. And yeah, I still have yet to drop another How to Speak Chicken video. That'll probably come out sometime in early July, or maybe late this month. I don't honestly know when it'll come out, but I know it'll be soon, hopefully, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a wild month this month. No attacks happened, but I did learn plenty about my chickens, because it was their second birthday, and well, when chickens are turning two, they basically like have like another peak of egg laying, and that's currently what's happening. And during this month, this is when my rooster decided to actually take a turn 
to the devil and decide to actually start like absolutely like starting to like actually destroy me I, I can't talk I'm sorry but like he was absolutely like destroying my leg and yeah I'm talking of course about the rooster down there not not Falcon it was it was only a few weeks ago Falcon decided to turn to the devil side now the month of April my god was this a big month while my channel was doing a little bit below average this month, this month wasn't really about the channel. This month was more about real life. Real shit happened this month. So first of all, my pet flock chickens, during, in the pet flock, my chicken sprinkles decided it would be a good idea to jump off the roost bar. I think that's how she got it. And she actually got um, a disease onto her foot, Bumblefoot. That would end up costing her her life in late May, and we'll get to that in a minute, but it was still a pretty sizable month. During the first part of the month, I was, I was just looking for spring break. Yeah, I was just looking forward to spring break at that point. I was like, can it happen any sooner at this point? Nope. And yeah, spring break's like, nope. And yeah, those first two weeks of April, nothing really big happened. And then, the attacks. The first one happened on Easter Sunday, the second one happened on Wednesday, and then yeah, that was pretty much the attacks, until I thought it was over at that point. On Monday, I think it was the 25th, 26th, I don't remember shit, but like, on Monday, the attack happened that would start this, that would start the shit show, and yeah, I th oh, it was a Tuesday. Yeah, we lost one Buff Warpington that night. One Buff Warpington. Don't know if it was anyone in specific, but it was just one Buff Warpington. Since my chickens are stupid enough to be messing out on the walls. Here, I'll show you where they were. Hang on, let me get over there to explain it. So here were the chickens. Now, at the time, Snow White was still a thing. And he decided to lead the chickens in the wrong direction. Some of them were up here, some were over there. And yeah, it was really pissing me off that night. I was really pissed off that they were doing that, but that was because we moved the chickens and they still thought over here was a good idea, to the point where I even found nests in the wall. And I'm pretty sure there's still eggs around here somewhere. It really annoyed me, okay? Then at about 9.30 I was in class doing a test. When I got home that day, expecting nothing of it, when I was told that we lost 10 chickens, or 9, I don't remember. I was told we lost half of the farm flock. But as soon as we got home, we can divvy out the number. I counted 17, meaning we only lost 4 in reality. So nah, so about the same magnitude as the one over the summer. We found the corpse of one chicken. We found the feathers of a few others. We lost Goldfighter. We lost Frack. We lost another Easter Egger. And yeah, then we also lost... Um, a buff, I know for a fact, because I found buff feathers. There's only one chicken I didn't find. I don't know if this was like a scaled attack by more than one fox, but it is hunting season, so I wasn't, but it was fox hunting time. May comes around. We were just finally done reeling from that attack. We cleaned up the stuff. Now it's time to start talking about other stuff. So that's when I start posting more videos. And yeah, this month was a little bit more geared towards the channel. And yeah, the channel, it sort of was like gearing in a direction that I really wanted it to go. I already gained like 3,000 views. So I was really like doing pretty good this month. And yeah, it was like a really good month. I was really well performing. And yeah, I was definitely breaking numbers. My most popular video officially broke 1,000 views. A Day in the Life broke 400. And yeah, pretty sizable month for this channel. But talking about chickens, my unfortunate news about this month was, first of all, we lost two chickens this month. We lost Sprinkles. And do you want to know why we lost Sprinkles? Because of a disease, I don't know, disease, Bumblefoot, I told you already about this, I think. I don't know why I said I don't know, but like, yeah. I was like pissed that something took Sprinkles, it was the disease, in late May. And then I can't remember if this happened before or after Sprinkles, or it might have even been in June, I don't know. But we lost a chicken to Eguloperitonitis, which I know exactly what it is, but I don't have to explain it, because it's pretty gruesome, and I know a lot of you don't want to know about it. And, uh, 
Not cap. I, I think a lot of you want to know about it, but I don't care. I'm not talking about it. So yeah, that was pretty much it. And we are in this month. Not a lot so far, other than the fact that in my last video, I woke up to 90 something what views. That's a lot. It's actually a lot. The most amount of views I woke up to from a video was 52. That actually blew the living shit out of me. I was like, oh my god. What the hell? And yeah, it was a pretty amazing show, to say the least. This last nine month, these last nine months, they were a living hell. So yeah, <clears throat> if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. I like how when I was making this video, I literally thought of the effects I want to put into this video. So yeah, if you want to suggest any other videos or any other stuff, tell me below, or you can email me using the email provided on screen or in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe to the channel. I don't know if I have to repeat anymore, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It was a living hell these last nine months, and hopefully the next nine months will be a little bit better. Since, well, I know how to deal with chicken loss now. It's official.